So Chris, they said, what version of the new BMW 2 Series convertible would you like to test? The diesel perhaps? Or what about the entry level petrol model? Well, that's very kind, I replied, but our YouTube viewers, I think they'd like to see something a bit quicker. Something, in fact, like this. That's right, it's the new M235i, the top model in the 2 Series range, able to sprint from 0 to 62 miles an hour in just 5 seconds. For that, we can thank this 3-litre turbocharged straight-six engine, which pumps out 322 brake horsepower and 332 pound-foot of torque. Of course, owners are going to care more about how you open the roof than the bonnet. And before we do that, I just want to point out, this is a fabric folding roof rather than a folding hardtop. And compared with the 2 Series predecessor, which was the 1 Series convertible, this now has five layers in the roof rather than three in a bid to improve refinement. And also, this uh, back window here has got a better seal on it because it used to let in a lot of wind noise. In order to open the roof, you first need to pull down a flap in the boot, which cuts space from 335 litres to 280. Then you hold down a switch and 19 seconds later, you're open to the elements. While I climb into the back here, I should also mention that the roof can be open and closed at speeds up to 30 miles an hour. And now that I'm here, um, it is a bit of a squash. The bodywork cuts in at the side here, which sort of forces you into the middle, but you do get your own cup holder and also your own heating vents. Here in the front of the 2 Series convertible, it still feels like quite a small car. It feels quite narrow and not, I have to say, as welcoming as an Audi A3 Cabriolet. However, the dials are nice and clear. The build quality feels excellent. There's a good amount of storage under the armrest here, a couple of cup holders in there and a decent sized glove box. Plus, BMW's iDrive system is present and correct and you can specify heated seats and even a heated steering wheel. It does good business for BMW, this engine, particularly in its small cars, with sales of the M135i and M235i Coupe far exceeding BMW's expectations. It takes about 20 seconds behind the wheel to understand why. <laughs> It offers strong performance no matter where you are in the rev range. In fact, peak torque comes in from just 1300 RPM. And what that means is not only that overtaking is easy, but combined with nicely responsive steering, you can really play with the chassis. And what a chassis it is too, with power sent through the rear wheels and a really nice sense of balance on account of the weight being evenly distributed across both axles. The M235i sounds the business too, whether you go for the 6-speed manual or this 8-speed automatic. And while it's not a dual-clutch gearbox, it is still really responsive when you pull on these steering wheel mounted paddles and is perfectly smooth when you just leave it in auto mode. Ah yes, I hear you say, but doesn't the fact it's lost its roof mean that the M235i is all heavy and wobbly? Well, yes and no. For sure it's not as stiff as the coupe and yes it weighs 150 kilos more and you can feel the body start to flex just a little bit when you really push the car through corners. But if you think about what an owner of one of these cars wants, really it's just awesome straight line performance with enough composure in the bends for it to be fun. And the M235i has got both points covered with ease. What's more, when you put the roof up, refinement is excellent. In fact, you actually hear more noise from the tyres than you do from the wind. What's not to like? Well, not a great deal if I'm honest. The wind deflector looks a bit naff and when you have it in place, you can't use the rear seats and you should really specify the M adaptive suspension, otherwise the ride is going to be too firm. 
Then there's the price. At £40,000 for an auto version like this, nobody's going to pretend that it's cheap. In fact, it makes the £3,000 cheaper coupe version sound like a bargain, let alone the M135i hatchback, which will save you a full £9,000. But that's not really comparing like with like, is it? Because actually, the M235i convertible's closest rival is the Audi S3 Cabriolet, and that one really is going to be quite tough to call. Do you want the Audi's nicer interior, or do you want the rear-wheel drive handling and superior engine of the BMW? I'm going to let you guys argue about that in the comments section below, because I'm going to take this for another spin. For a full review of the 2 Series convertible, including the big selling 220D model, click on the box on the left to visit the Telegraph Cars website. And don't forget to click on the box on the right where you can subscribe to our YouTube channel.